When Android 15 launched, the company introduced a new feature that allowed certain devices to test a new 16 kilobyte memory page size feature. Previous versions of Android were built with and optimized for a 4K page size, but this change allows the operating system to work through its memory management tasks four times as fast. This was an optional change though, as developers were not required to start supporting it. But Google has now come out and said that this will change for certain apps starting later this year in November 2025. This month, Google has announced that some app developers will need to build their apps with support for this new, larger memory page size, but only if the app targets Android 15 or higher, which is actually a pretty good lead time considering it will take most app developers two to three years before the majority decide to start targeting that version of Android. Granted, there's nothing stopping a developer from supporting this right now. We just tend to see devs building their apps for the version of Android that's used by the majority of the community, which as of recording this video is Android 14 with 27.4% of the user base. Although we are still likely seeing most developers targeting Android 13 or even Android 12 in an attempt to keep their apps compatible with the vast majority of active devices. I have previously talked about the benefits of the 16 kilobyte memory page size here on the channel, but the gist of it is apps which have added support for this will launch up to 30% faster. The camera itself will load up to 6.6% .6 faster. Android devices themselves are able to boot up around 8% faster. And overall battery usage is said to improve by up to 4.5%. The idea is, if the operating system is allowed to work through its memory bookkeeping tasks with four times the amount of allocated memory, then Android itself will need to spend that much less time completing those tasks. I have personally tested this on the Pixel 8 but you can experiment this with the Pixel 8 or Pixel 9 series device. So I'll be sure to link to that guide that I have done down below. It's actually rare to see Google making wide ranging decisions like this so quickly after introducing a new feature. The company just seems to not like forcing developers to do certain things even if that means the ecosystem as a whole would be better off. So giving them this much of a lead time is definitely in their favor. But we're told that a substantial number of apps are already compatible, so there's not work that needs to be done for them. Google goes on to say that any app with zero native code will automatically be compatible with this new change. If your app is using a library or an SDK that does contain native code, then that library itself or the SDK that they're using needs to be updated to a compatible version. Then there are apps with native code. Those developers are likely going to need to recompile the app with a more recent toolchain, and then they should go through any code that indicates it may have issues with low level memory management. But as mentioned, this transition will likely not be noticeable at all. And honestly, I wish Google had implemented this feature and this requirement much quicker. Interestingly, Apple already started on this transition back when they forced developers to support 64-bit processing back in 2015. So you see what I mean when I say Google is less likely to force developers to change their apps. So as I wrap things up, I want to remind you all to please look down the page so that you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel while you're down there to see more Android news content in your feed. 